Hello, this is Ben Alloway. I'm the Director of Music and Worship at Emmanuel Lutheran Church in Forest City, Iowa. Uh, this is the Daily Devotion for Tuesday, May 19th, 2020. And we're going by the lectionary today, and one of those readings is Psalm 93. There's just five verses here, and then we're going to focus on verse 4 in a devotion by Richard Floyd. Psalm 93. The Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed in majesty and armed with strength. Indeed, the world is established, firm and secure. Your throne was established long ago. You are from all eternity. The seas have lifted up, Lord. The seas have lifted up their voice. The seas have lifted up their pounding waves, mightier than the thunder of the great waters, mightier than the breakers of the sea. The Lord on high is mighty. Your statutes, Lord, stand firm. Holiness adorns your house for endless days. So going back to verse 4, we'll see what Mr. Floyd is focusing on. Mightier than the thunder of the great waters, mightier than the breakers of the sea, the Lord on high is mighty. So he says, before there was something, there was nothing. The proto-physicist who imagined the creation of the universe in the beginning, in Genesis, described a formless emptiness. To the ancients, water, especially the sea, was a symbol of chaos, understood as disorder tumult and confusion. Mr. Floyd once visited a friend in the hospital who had just suffered a stroke. He asked him how he was and he answered, it is all tohu wabohu, which is the biblical Hebrew translated as formless void. He had grown up in Beirut and spoke Arabic, which has a very similar term for chaos. Mr. Floyd's friend likened his mind's confusion and sense of disorder to the primordial chaos of Genesis 1. We have all from time to time experienced chaos in our lives, particularly the times that we are in now. Sudden changes can throw our world into disorder. Daily we witness on the news confusion and disorder in our country and among the nations. Psalm 93 begins a series of psalms that proclaim the absolute sovereignty of God. Our passage for today asserts God's sovereignty by proclaiming that God's majesty is mightier even than the waves of the sea. In other words, God has control over chaos. How, when, and where God exercises that sovereignty remains mysterious. But we are assured that ultimately God will be up and chaos will be down. May it be so. Would you pray with me? God of majesty and might, bring order to chaos understanding to confusion, and your sweet peace to every place of disruption. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.